salvage my beliefs, perseverance is your key to the impossible. So thank you guys for this cool tip of the day video. It's so awesome for you guys to be here. The tip that I've got for you guys is part of a five-part series of the cold hard facts that you need to know going into 2015 or 2016. Oh my god, I keep saying 2015 in my videos. I'm sorry. Um to uh basically do your passion freely and educatively and, you know, just have fun with it. So today's, you know, today's videos are going to be in relation to how to do the impossible. And um, the first video for the tip of the day I've got for you guys today is all about how to acquire that mindset to achieve the impossible. Now, think of it this way. Okay, so... Um, the best example that I've got is, you know, these days there's technology everywhere, right? But not everybody knows how to use it. So you get your brand new computer and, you know, you, let's say if you, you know, you're, you just got a brand new computer and you're trying to figure out how to turn it on. Excuse me. And the first button you click doesn't work. Doesn't turn on. Next button, none. Next button, none. Next button, none. Next button, it works. Okay. So that's perseverance for you. That's to start out because my belief is perseverance is your key to the impossible. So the work and having to do the work despite getting, you know, despite a failure and learning something from it is, is the first part of this. The next part of it is that people think that there is a end goal, that there is a top, that this, this line is not go pastable. You cannot go past this line. Okay. For me, I I use this this supposed line where you can't cross it as a illusion. I use it as a okay, this is where people say that I should go. This is where I need to go. Then when I get there, I keep going. Okay? I keep finding ways to keep going. See, um for me when I was doing my art, I had to I had to acquire this mindset because so many people are like you can't be blind and you can't do art at the same time. It has to be one or the other. It's just not possible, right? What I did is I went on a computer. I was on the computer for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days while I was losing my vision at the same time trying to figure out how to use assistive technology, magnifiers, screen recorders, screen readers, all these different things. Um paint programs, Photoshop, video programs for YouTube. How do I do all this? And I learned I kept experimenting. I learned what didn't work and what did work. I learned what worked for my site and what didn't, what worked for my ears and what didn't, what worked for the programs and what, what didn't. And, you know, and okay, so I got up to the point. I'm starting to make, I'm making art, I'm making time-lapse videos, I'm making videos. Um, I'm talking to you guys, obviously, right now. And people would say that that's the top, right? Like, yeah, I've made my, my top goal, right? Okay, now that I've made my top goal, I'm going to continue going on from there. Um, and the, you know that's that's the that's the idea of achieving the impossible because there's going to be so many people out there with this varying definition of what the impossible is that if you set yourself as an illusion of what the top is and then continue to go past it, then you're achieving the impossible technically, right? Because I mean, there's so many people that are going to say for numerous different reasons, whether it be that they tried it and they failed and they say that it's impossible, or they haven't tried it and they think it's an impossible task, and. Um, you know, and some people would be like, well, I got to the top here. I'm done. Well, why not keep going? You know, why not keep bettering yourself? Um, that's how inventions and crazy things are made. You know, the planes, cars, TVs, computers, all these different things went from, okay, you know, I made a TV, right? They didn't stop at just the regular TV. They made flat screens. They made TVs capable on computers. They made TVs capable on cell phones. They didn't stop there. They kept going. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what you can do in 2016 is getting this mindset that you can do the impossible despite whatever circumstances you're in. And every time that you think that you can't, somebody out there is. Somebody out there is doing it. Somebody out there is saying you know what? I'm doing it, you know, because I don't know how many times people have said to me that I can't do what I'm doing and I'm doing it right here and I'm proving it to the world. So, um, it's a very difficult thing to gain this mindset. It's a very difficult thing to get the idea in your head like this, but I do, ho I do believe that pe that it is possible for people to get this idea in their head and to believe it and to achieve it and to use it to do incredible things. So I'm telling you right now and yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. I really do hope you liked, favorite, and share this video. I, uh, if you become a subscriber, you won't miss uh, great content that's coming out because there's going to be more great content. Um, otherwise, you know, I, I've 
that that's that's my thoughts. This is the tip of the day video. I will see you guys um, in today's question of the day video at 12 p.m. Minnesota time and the bit about me video at 2 p.m. Minnesota time. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Remember that perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I will see you guys later.